What's up, everybody? Monkey Dude 22 back again for another Let's Play. This time it is Shenmue 3, the backer trial version that just came into my email inbox, and I couldn't tell you how excited I was to see that email with this code in here to try this. I backed this game like, I don't know, two and a half, three years ago? Uh, as soon as I could, right at E3, uh, when it was announced on the Sony stage, and I'm just super excited to check out this game. Um, this is the first time I'm playing through this. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, we're going to be learning about this game uh, as we go along, so let's get right on into it. Find the man with the scar on his face. Try out the different features on the way. All right. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, maybe not. Oh, we got a cutscene. All right, here we go. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna find a we're gonna find a bookie. I don't even know what a bookie is. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first first impression, uh, just right off the bat, hearing Corey's voice, who was the original voice actor in Shenmue One and Two, it's so good to hear that. So good to hear that he re reprised his role. I don't think this game would really work if you didn't have his voice in this game. Uh, visually, I mean, I know this is a trial version, a demo, but it actually it. Feels very modern, looks very modern, but still feels like it's a part of the universe. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, it, it feels like old, but also new at the same time. And like, just walking around as Yo, uh, everything feels very, very smooth. Like, if you've ever played Shenmue 1 and 2, you'd probably recognize maybe this. <laughs> just like, it, where it's like, just like the jittery movements and stuff like that. That's totally not a thing anymore. It just feels very, very modern. And, uh, you know, looks like the camera is, like, the right thumbstick. So, like, yeah, it's just a very modern presentation of Shenmue. And I'm just, I'm totally over the moon right now. Let's see what we can do here is horse. Can you ride horses in the game? Can I get over here? No. Perhaps later. Let's see. There's something down here. Not sure what's down here. Ooh. Got some, uh... Hey, bud. Bud, over here. You can't play unless you buy some tokens. Okay. Buy some tokens if you want to play. What do I get to play? All right, so... What do we got? Looks like we got... <gasps> Lucky Hit. Yes. Lucky Hit is here. I'm so excited. I loved Lucky Hit in Shenmue 2. It was so great. Like, you could uh, basically run a stand, and uh, you'd be able to... Uh... Oh, my God. I got turtle races? What is this? Oh, my gosh. I'm getting just, like, sidetracked all over the place. Yeah, it was like... Um... Lucky Hit was basically like Plinko the... from, like, The Price is Right. And you could run a stand, and that's how you got money in the game. At least until you got jobs later on moving crates and stuff like that. Is this also Lucky Hit? Yes, yeah, this is Lucky Hit. All right. I need to, I really want to, I forget what this one is. I think it's Roll It On Top. It's been so long since I played it, I don't even remember what it is. This is new, though. I've never seen this turtle thing. So I definitely want to check these out. All right, I guess i got to go get tokens. Now, as far as I know, the demo is essentially just an isolated portion of the game. Excuse me. Uh, where basically Yo, you would be able to play just a small section. Um, Actually, I need help with something. But also, you, you would be able to play up until the end of the day. So that's the only you know, context like I know in terms here, of how long the demo no. is. Uh, but well, I also know it is replayable. So <laughs> helps close the deals, and the ladies will just run if you look too scary. Okay then. Okay. Hi there. Buy some tokens if you want to play. You're darn right. Let's play something. It's ten yuan for one hundred tokens. How many do you want? Ten yuan. Um, I guess we'll just get, we'll just get 20. I don't want to, like, spend the entire demo just playing these mini games, but I definitely want to check some of these Thank out you. real quick. You can exchange tokens for prizes, so be sure to head to the prize exchange after. 
Ooh. You can then take your prizes to the pawn shop and sell them. So more tokens means more money. Good luck out there. I feel like that's not how that works, but okay. I guess if you're really, really good at these games. All right, so I'm going to try one of each. So let's go over here. I guess this is Lucky Hit. This is... Hi there. Do you have your eyes on one or on me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that they translated that giggle into teehee. All right. Um, geez, there's so many different ones. Uh, let's do this one. How much are you betting? I'm betting the farm, lady. All right, I'm doing 10. Hopefully I win so that way I'll have money so I can play the other ones. I don't think... Well, maybe the other ones aren't. Um, or less than 10. All right, so yeah, like I said, this is like Plinko. You just throw the marble down and just see what happens. You know, maybe you're lucky and uh, you get a hit. A lucky hit, as it were. Looks like I am unlucky, though. So I get nothing. Let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Come on. Get over to the left a little bit. Is it going to go right down the middle? Oh, yeah, there we go. Hit that one. Wow, nice. Yeah. Up for some more? Nah, I think I'm good. So, I mean, that's lucky hit. It's just you Come drop the marble soon. down the thing, and, you know, if you hit it, you win a prize. So, very cool. Um, I really want to see this turtle one. I really want to see what this is. Turtle races, huh? Hey, here to play? I recommend Bailu Village's own turtle racing. Yeah, we got to try this one. How much will you put down? Uh, I guess 50 is my max bet already. All right, here we go. Which turtle will it be? Which turtle do I want to bet on? Oh, man. All right. We got red, blue, yellow, and green. I feel like blue just it's calling out to me. He doesn't seem like the most active. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go blue. Let's go blues. Here we go. Stanley Cup champions. Go blue. Oh, my gosh. Do I have to tap Y? Oh, I have to tap these buttons. What is... I don't get it. I don't know if I'm just tapping. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm influencing this at all. I guess I am. I'm just trying to tap the different buttons. <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 go. There you go. There you go. There you go, turtle. Yeah. Did he make it? Oh, come on. He's right there. Stretch your neck, bro. There we go. Oh, he's got to get up the hill. Jeez. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is very Mario Party-ish, and I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. He's right there. There we go. Nice, bro. Go again. I think my fingers will appreciate not going again. But that was I'll interesting. I don't know. I feel like that should have just been more of a random chance thing where you just kind of like size up the turtles and then you just pick one, I guess. I don't know. That is interesting. Um, I mean, I'm all for all the different kind of games. I guess there's no one running the this one. That's just straight up Liar's Dice. Or not Liar's Dice. Uh, lucky Hit. Oh, what's this? Oh, this might be rolling on top. Dice. How about a game of roll it on top? All right. I don't remember how this one Place works at bet. all. How much will it be? I think it's basically you just... It's almost like war. So basically they throw down the dice and whoever has the higher number wins. I, if I remember Enjoy right. Dice my turn. Total of four. So he gets a You're four. Quite lucky. All right. Let's go, yo. Do it. Higher than a four. Yeah, five. Total of five. Congratulations. I am just getting very, very Will you keep playing? lucky right now. I think I'm good. Medicine All right, so that was that was cool. So check out some of the different mini games. I'm assuming that's uh, what all the different villages are kind of like. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea what to expect. All right, let's try to find this guy with the uh, 
with the scar. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Head on down. I guess this is like the village. So I did notice that if you hold the right trigger, you run. And uh, I am running along here, so. Let's see what we got going on here in the village. All right, got a village going on here. Some kids exercising. This guy's having a good old time. We got another lucky hit stand over here. Has this guy got a scar on his face? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's check out this guy. This guy looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a scar. One Sung Chun. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? Yeah. A scarred face. This must be the guy. Absolutely. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah, that guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me, and I'll tell you. How about it? Sounds like a challenge. Let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Yo's on the same page as I am. All right. So just hit the A, B, X, Y buttons. Try pressing the right trigger. Eat and fill up before fight. Well, why wouldn't you tell me that before fighting? Eat and fill up. I don't even know what that means. Oh, good God. That was the right trigger. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Take a seat. Take a seat. There we go. Come on. Let's go, boy. Oh, yeah. Kick, kick, kick. Kick him. Kick him. And he's down. Come on. You know the offspring, offspring song. Good God. He's just destroying me, though. It's like takes like one hit, and like I'm just like totally down with health. All right. All right. Counter elbow assault. I don't know. Oh, I just okay. So what I did there was I ended up switching my what my right trigger move was. All right, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, kung fu's a little lacking. Go train at Marshall Hall, and we'll start over. <laughs> Marshall right. Hall. Marshall Hall. All right. Well, I don't know where Marshall Hall is, but I guess we need to figure out how to eat food. I guess. Oh, okay. So here's the menu. Right bumper opens my menu. I see food, key items, items, herb sets, capsule sets, skill book exchange, skill book, skill book editor, and settings. Well, I guess we want food. Is there any difference here? I guess we've got pears, pineapples, and bananas. Okay, so all right, I don't I don't know what the difference is here, so I'm just gonna eat some bananas. I don't really see any difference. I'm sure it'll tell me, maybe in the full game, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what help tells me. Food that replenishes your health, story progression, collectibles, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so exactly what I thought it was, but yeah. Maybe there's some sort of crafting system in this game now? I don't know. Um, I also don't know where the um, where, like the dojo is where I got a train, so maybe this guy will know. See this guy tell me something. Hides are strong. What's the word, yo? Do you know where Marshall Hall is? Marshall Hall? Ryo, don't joke with me like that. Huh? The training there is no joke. You probably won't be able to keep up. That makes me feel special. You think so? I mean, I won't stop you if that's what you really want. Cross over the bridge and go until you hit the vantage point. Okay, great. Thanks. All right, so we're going to go to the vantage point. All right. Back the way we came, I guess. I mean, I guess I could probably try to fight him again, but I mean, based on the fact that I just got destroyed, 
probably not supposed to be able to beat him until I actually go through some of this other training. Maybe I'm going to learn other moves or something. I don't know. I guess we'll find out pretty quick. I bet you that's the dojo right over there on top of that little cliff mountain thing. Yeah, because here's the bridge, so... I bet you that's what I'm looking for. Run it, run it. Alright. Okay. I like the music. The music's kind of nice. It's very Shenmu feeling. Alright. Yeah, this is the right place. Looks like I can practice horse dance here. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Horse stance. I mean, I guess. Horse stance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know how this works or what it's going to do, so, but I mean, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, basically, I'm tapping the A button or the green button, whatever that's going to be. And I'm trying to keep, the, I guess, level with the line. Yeah, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see the horse stance. I'm leveling up. I don't know if this, like, actually is going to do anything for, like, my kung fu, I guess. But this is an interesting progression. Nothing like this existed in Shenmue 1 and 2, or at least there wasn't any, like, leveling up as far as I recall. Um, I, as far as I remember, you would basically go and you would fight different people and you would learn different moves. But this is not something that I remember. And it looks like I've got a, a timer, maybe, on the top right corner. It looks like that's what it is. So maybe I have that amount of time to level up whatever um, discipline or... Whatever I'm trying to do, I guess. Oh, that does. Okay, that does level up my Kung Fu. So, okay, attack endurance went up. I'm guessing my Kung Fu is what I, I'm really trying to level up so that I can beat that guy. But I don't know what level I need to be so I can do that. I, I feel like there's probably other things other than horse stance. So I'm going to no, see what no, else no. there is. But let's see. I could practice my one-inch punch. One-inch punch. Sure. I'll give it a shot. I like that, like, it gives me the cutscene of, like, what it is, but it doesn't actually one give you the option to actually just do it Maybe right I'll then. I'll give it a shot. All right. I don't know how this one works. Let's see. Get loose, go. Get loose. Punch some wood. All right. How does this work? Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, so when these two uh, lines combine, that's when I want to hit, like, the A button. There we go. Excelente. Excellent. Get it, yo. There we go. Oh, very good. Yeah, you definitely have to time it, like, almost a little bit before. It's almost what you want to do. And I'm guessing, like, the more, the more you get the excellent, the higher it, like, ranks up, I guess. I got nothing off of that one. There we go. Okay, yeah, definitely got to get into a groove. I had it, like, right at the very start. I, then I just haven't gotten it again. There we go. Find the rhythm. Find the time. Get on up. It's bobsled time. Cool runnings. All right. Got uh, endurance up. Kung fu's up. All right. I don't know what Maybe else there might be. I feel like if I practice this one more time, I might be able to get to level 2 Kung Fu. Let's just try it and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Let's do it, yo. Let's try to excellent the entire thing. Nope. <laughs> of course, I say let's try it, and then I screw it up. Alright, leveled up to 6. Very good. Excellent day. There we go. There you go. Get it, yo. 
I gotta stop psyching myself up. I keep messing up when I do it. All right. Level 8. Let's see if I can get to 9. I could probably get to 9 by the end of this one. Maybe. We'll see. If I can get excellence here. Oh, yeah. If I get, like, two more excellence. Yeah, one more. I got this. All right, very good. All right, so I got to level 9. Level 9 on this discipline. That's pretty good. One more. Nope. Ah, there we go. Leveled up Kung Fu 2. All right, very cool. So... I guess you just have to keep Maybe doing these disciplines to um, to uh, level up. Of course, I don't know what uh, what I need to be to fight this guy or to actually win. Let's see what this guy has to say up here. This is a name tag from one of the students here. Shrin Shan Sun. What's a bookie's name doing on one of these cards? Shen Shen Sun. Hmm? Shen Sun was another who traveled a great distance to train here. The bookie who runs the Pale Toss game? Indeed. He even earned the rank of Second Duan at Marshall Hall. I don't know where he went wrong, but he's been reduced to a lowly ruined bookie now. I had no idea. Sadly, his passion and drive left him. Well, that's a shame. His passion and drive left him? Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? <clears throat> um... I don't know if sparring is going to give me any kind of um, bonus here. I think fights is what I really need to do. All right, here we go. Sparring. Keep sparring to level up your techniques. Assign skills. will activate as QTE. Use the QTE to remember commands. Test what you've learned in a match. You'll likely gain a rank by winning the match. Okay, so all skills used in spars and matches contribute to your overall attack power. All right, let's just try a match. Let's see. Um, I think I might need to eat food first, so let me eat. Come back anytime. I'll be waiting. Yeah, I do need to eat. All right, here we go. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? I'm not here to train. Have I'm here to win. To spar or fight one of the monks. Which will it be? We're going to fight it out. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. Oh, I shan't. Wow. Such aggression. All right, let's do this. You can't beat me. I'm Bio Hazuki. Stop that tickles. Stop that tickles? Jeez, this guy's getting wrecked. <laughs> that was like 10 yes. seconds. Well done. That's enough to raise your rank. Oh, good. Thank you. Do not get complacent. You must aim ever higher. All right. Let's Excuse go again. Me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? I mean, we got to fight it out. So you wish to fight? I believe Black Tiger will give you an appropriate challenge. Black Tiger, second Dwan. Is he gonna headbutt me? It's like the drunken master. Alright, here we go. Let's do it, yo. Tornado kick! Oh, he just did the headbutt on me. There we go. Get him! Get him! There it is. Punch him. Get him. There it is. There is that combo. There it is. Come on. Kick him. There it is. Oh, I can't get him anymore? All right, let's go. Here I go. 
tornado. Oh, he's on the ground. What's with this guy? Punch him. Oh, come on. There it is. Got him. That was quite the match. I didn't think you defeat him. Your rank has been raised. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. All right, so All right, well, doing doing what I can here. I don't know Don't know what else I need to do. So I guess I'll try one more match. Me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? I mean, I did all right against the last two. Oh, got to replenish the HP. Keep forgetting about that. All right. You're after a fight. Hmm. I think you will find Blue Tiger a most formidable opponent. These all look like chefs that come out of like the back of like the kitchen and like they're just going to destroy you. All right. One more time, yo. Let's do it. God, this guy's just destroying me. Don't make me laugh. This guy is pretty, pretty intense. I'm guessing his kung fu is a little bit higher. Strong enough. Uh. Polish your techniques on the wooden dummy. All right. All right. So well, there's only two over here, so I don't really know. I don't know if I really need to work any more out over here. I am level two, I think. Um, I guess let's just try this one more time. Let's see if we can raise our uh, kung fu up to three, maybe? I'm just not sure what I need, how much I need to level up before I can actually fight that guy. I can't imagine I would have to do too much. All right. Should be able to... Uh, level this up a few times. This one isn't as difficult as the other one. It's literally just hitting the A button every now and then. Like once every two seconds, really. Seems like you can gain like four or five levels each time. But this is definitely a mechanic that was never in 1 and 2. And I kind of like it because it does kind of give more purpose to the fighting. It kind of like, it does actually make you feel like you're actually trying to train up and like, you know, use your martial arts or whatever to like its full potential. So I, I do kind of like that. Um, I like this aspect about the game so far. I don't, I don't know if this is really going to be a main focus of the game. But um, definitely uh, a much appreciated new mechanic. Maybe I'll practice some more. I think I don't need to do that anymore. Maybe later. Um, all right. I'm just going to go try to fight him again and see what happens. I mean, I definitely feel like, if anything, I've kind of gotten a little bit more comfortable with, like, the fighting and how that works. So I think that's good. Run across the bridge. I don't know, maybe you can get in one of these canoes one day. One of the boats. Maybe that'll be a job. You can row the boat. Alright. Running on a rock. I do notice I'm running and I am losing stamina or losing health. I don't know if that's um, intended. I guess it is. I'm not sure what the um, what the reasoning is for that, but uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, you probably will have to do something with food, maybe crafting at some point. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's see if my kung fu is strong enough to beat this guy now, though. Got to win against him. Pardon me. Hey there. I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Beat me, and I'll tell you. 
Let's do it. You're on. I'm ready for you this time. The blocks. There we go. There we go. Got him on the ropes. Got him on the ropes. So I don't want to be on the ropes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now we got him. Yeah, look at him. He's broken on the ground. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this guy is in pain. Oh, he's in pain. This is, this is my fight. Get out of here. Get out of here. Teach me what I need to know. There it is. Boom. Yeah, I think it was more technically smart with that fight, too. I was using my blocks more. I was keeping him on the, uh, keeping him on the wall. Okay. I think I can recall some things now. <laughs> what do you got to tell me? So, where can I find someone who saw the thugs? Oh, right. Witnesses. Talk to the bookie running Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon. They gave her some trouble. And where is she? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. Oh, really? You cleared the demo. Thank you for playing. Please look forward to Shenmue 3's release. That's it? That's all the demo? Wow, I thought there would be more to it than that. That was very, very, uh... Very, very short. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, it gives you a little bit of an idea how the fighting works and stuff like that. But I, I, I guess I thought there would be a little bit more to it than just that. But, uh, well, yeah. Um, uh, first impressions, initial impressions of the game, considering uh, that the game is coming out in about two months. I think it's November 12th or November 15th, one of those. Um I, I do like it. Um, I think there's a lot of potential, um, and I think they've really only scratched the surface of what the game has to offer. I mean, really, you know, Shenmue is all about the story. You didn't really get a whole lot of story from that small section, but maybe that's intentional. Um, I don't really know, but um, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think that um, when the game comes out, I, I mean, obviously I kickstarted this thing. I'm absolutely going to be playing it day one. I'll probably stream it as well. Uh, probably going to stream Shenmue 1 and 2 before 3 comes out so that people can kind of see the whole story. And, oh, maybe we've got a cutscene here. Let's see what this cutscene is. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten. Landy. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I didn't get to see that trailer beforehand. Um, I think that was actually the Kickstarter uh, trial that they released. Or not the trial, the trailer. Um, so, yeah, I hadn't seen that before. Uh, but yeah, it was nice to see it again and uh, definitely get you hyped for uh, defeating Landy. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this Let's Play of Shenmue 3, the uh, backer trial version. Uh, if you did enjoy the uh, the trial version and you want to see uh, me stream the game when it comes out, uh, please, by all means, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel so that you'll be notified as soon as I uh, continue on with some more Shenmue content. And uh, that's being said, I'm MonkeyDo22. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out this Let's Play. And I will see you in the next video.